<laughs> no, man, we are live here with Kev back. We in the lab. We got my boy Bitter Dog Bruno, Raw Sweets, Soup Town Rock Bottoms of Bree. We got my boy Big T, original. And we got my boy Tommy Dean. Tommy Dean. Tommy Dean. Tell him where you're from, Tommy Dean, originally. Tommy. Originally from uh, East Side of Compton, South, uh, South Park, U.S. Uh, you be that close with the camera? Yeah, yeah. You okay. Um, I was born and raised on the west side. I was, I was born on Calder Boulevard. Uh, I, I didn't make it to the hospital. I was born in the car. When they had plans to build a courthouse, I moved to the east side of Compton in 68 on Chester and Laurel. I went to Roosevelt until the ninth grade. So I caught a murder at 16 and was tried as a adult. The first youth, first black youth in California tried as a adult and sent to prison. Mm. Uh, before I graduated for the ninth grade, I went to camp, I think a year before that. I went to a summer camp. No, summer camp. I went to a, a junior camp. I had six months and I met um, a brother named Ike Dawson. And it was two uh, brothers. He used to try to jump on inside Juvenile Hall. And I never knew what Crip was or Pyro. Just for the audience, can you tell them where Ike Dawson was from? Uh, Ike Dawson was from uh, Lewis Park, the Pyro. Um, the Pyro was originally from the west side. Of a, of a Piru Street. Brother named Puddin Town, brother named Benson, Benson Owens, bartender. Uh, other brother started off a block called Piru. When uh, when a cop CC and they had uh cop CC first started and they had um uh, uh, park village. They had a thing called Boot Hill across the street for park village, the park they were cribs. They had on uh, uh, the grannies. Well, when Compton CC, Compton, Compton Crib first started, and they had a, a boys' home on a uh, pie off of Santa Fe. They bobbed up in their Bob Simmons and ran, 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 ran the house. The two brothers used to try to jump on them all the time, and I never, uh, we never did that, you know, all been hey, head up. So each time I saw two dudes trying to rest easy, uh, uh, Dawson, I would get, you know, I would uh, support him from their jumping on him. So I did never knew why they were against each other, Crip and Blood, because they were both black. So I did never uh, understand that. When, um, when, 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 what year are we talking about? We're talking about 72, you know, late 71, early 72. Um, I went to camp for six months, and I, this is where I first heard or really was familiar with Christian but from going to juvenile hall and going to camp. Um, I met Ike Dawson. So when I got on the street, I stayed out like three months before I called the, the, the murder for, for, at 16. Um, We started on uh, U.S. because we didn't want to be Chris O'Fiber originally. So y'all was a non-blood, non-Crip guy? Originally. Mm -hmm. um, 71. 71, 72, we're not talking about 72, 73. Mm -hmm. Now, our neighborhood had the, the hardest parties. Back then, we used to party in the garage or something like house, house parties. Our side of Compton was like the the upper class, the upper middle class of Compton. And we had the nice ladies, the, the, the baddest party. But the gangs came out, you know, they mobbed in the party and turned them out. Disrespecting the ladies, you know, they didn't want to dance with them or um, 
that's riding. It was a whole, whole different atmosphere than what we were used to. We were against neither one, but we weren't gonna allow the game to come into our community. We are basically uh, used to the Mac and Mass Foundation, the, uh, the Black Panthers, and, uh, and the new, the, the Nation of Islam. When they destroyed the Black Panther Party, now the Black Panther Party uh, had the largest chapter in LA because the brother named Bertha Carter, who was a game member, he was the leader of the Slossons, I think. The Slossons. Are you familiar with the mayor of the ghetto? The mayor of the ghetto? Mm -hmm. No. Who do you call the mayor of the ghetto? Watch your car. <laughs> yeah, that's my homie. His picture's up there. Yeah, me and Bunchy was real close. Bunchy wrote me when I was doing time uh, for bank robberies. Uh, and at that particular time, he indicated to me that he had discontinued being a Slawson tribal member, and uh, he started the first uh, Black Panther chapter in Los Angeles. But he organized Slawson into, into a unit, into the larger chapter of Black Panther. What year did he start that chapter? That was 1967. What city had the most aggressive chapter of Black Panthers? Well, I would feel that it was the Los Angeles chapter, but you had publicity floating and incidences that the uh, provocateurs was promoting all over the country of the United States. But uh, we had more uh, victims of uh, assassins by LAPD and FBI here in Los Angeles. Did, did uh, the Southern California chapter and their aggress aggressiveness have anything to do with the large number of assassinations in LA? Quite so. Quite so, because we were more aggressive, we were more uh, in tail with what LAPD was doing and how they were doing it uh, in coordinates with the FBI. When they destroyed the Black Panther Party, the gang, you know, frustrated. But it went and sort out of control because brother, they had the knowledge of the history of black people and the history of our condition, the history of them conditioning us. Can I take a break and some water? Yeah, hell yeah. Did you know Bob Simmons? Yeah, I knew Bob Simmons. Was he a white dude, black dude? He was a black dude. He was a black dude. Yeah. And was he cool? Was he Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, he was, um, he had a concern for the, the youth in, in the community, the black youth, especially after the, the, the white riot. They had had, um, Grants have been uh, available, they made available after the Watson Riot. And he was up with you know, getting grants. Uh, he ran a boys home. I never went to it because of the of the uh, the the gang atmosphere. I was, uh, grew up on the west side around the corner from uh, the police station and they had a uh, or is this it called Market Mix Foundation? Not the Black Panthers, but the Market Mix Foundation. So I was more of a, I grew up more being influenced by militants. Black Panther Party, Market Mix Foundation, and brothers like Bob Simmons, who would come back and try, you know, try to, you know, organize the community, try to uplift me and raise the community or clean the community up, whatever you, you want to put it.